Well, I have to say this has been an interesting spring here on the homestead. This was the spring that I took off from breeding goats, but five months ago, our buck broke in. So I have bottle of babies and all kinds of complications and craziness. It's a really long story and I have been filming along the week and it's probably gonna be a documentary if I ever put it together, but I'll give you the gist of it in just a regular vlog format. <laughs> Older babies picking on younger babies. Cute babies everywhere. Baby on this side of me drinking from mama so I don't have to give her a bottle. <gasps> there you are. You listen to me. Who's this? Charlotte? Okay, Charlotte. Damsel, come on. Okay, Damsel. Damsel and pretty girl, come here. Damsel, come on. No, that's not your mama. <laughs> Yes, over here, come on, good girl. Good girl, yes. You gotta take turns with your sister. So these are the twins. These were born a day after my birthday and they had a very traumatic birth. Oh my goodness, they're fighting over this. I'm gonna have to stop, hold on. All right, so they had a very traumatic birth. Mama was nearly dead the next day. We were, we were absolutely sure she was going to pass. And by sheer miracle, she survived. But these babies were put on a bottle immediately. Luckily, there was not a uterine tear as I had suspected from the outcome of her birth. But there was a retained placenta, and we did get it to pass. We had a visit with the vet, and he gave her all the antibiotics and medicine and everything to expel the placenta. So everything is, is looking good. Mama's still struggling with mobility issues, but she is eating and drinking and alert. So we are hopeful that she will make a full recovery now. But it was a pretty scary 48 hours. I will say that. So we have damsel here which hey damsel hold on you're drinking too much i just splattered milk on myself and my phone okay i i have to she has to share that bottle with her sister charlotte oh charlotte's trying to drink the bottle from from <laughs> oh that's funny i had it sitting on the ground and she was like trying to drink it when it wasn't tipped up you know yeah so these two pretty girls are very special and very lucky to be alive. They were limp noodles when they were born. I thought they were still born, but we were able to revive them completely. And I am so grateful for that because I love them so much. Uh, Mr. Gander, I'm talking, could you be quiet? You already had your milk. And then this pretty girl right here who since the minute she was born, I called pretty girl. So we think that's her name now. She has a mama that is able to nurse her. But her mama wasn't supposed to be bred because she was low weight. <sighs> okay. So pretty girl here. Her mama is okay. She is okay. But she's too thin. And she's only producing enough milk for one kid really. And... The other kid is really strong and aggressive about getting the milk. And Pretty Girl had no interest in the teat at all and started to get a little bit cold and weak. So we had to begin bottle feeding her. Luckily, all the kids got colostrum for at least the first day. And that's better than none at all. I wish it was longer, but at least they got their mama's colostrum for the first day. So these two have been in the house at night because they don't have a mama to snuggle with. And this is their first time out in the pasture is today. And they've been hanging out with all the other baby goats and very happy about that. So I think maybe we'll be able to transition them to sleeping outside soon. So this girl will stay out with her mama because mama will take care of her and clean her bum and snuggle with her and everything. But we will still have to give her a bottle. 
she just doesn't know what the teat is. It's like she gets confused with it. And then our pretty black girl over there, who we haven't named yet, is doing fine with Mama. Mama's in good shape. Mama's a good mama, so she's gonna stay. It is so sweet how the bottle babies really do thank your mama. They all come running to me. You're not a bottle baby, but your sister is. And you've been really attentive with your sister and <laughs> the twins. The twins. They're extra, extra bottle baby like. <laughs> come on, come play, pretty girl. Oh my goodness, getting loved on by baby goats is the best. Yes. Play with your sister and the twins. Sister, did we come up with a name for you? I think Liam said shy because she was a little more shy because she's not a bottle baby. See, she's just like, oh, you, I don't know you. <laughs> but the bottle babies are clingy. Clingy little babies. Yes, you are. So cute. Look at that face. How could you not love that face? Oh, the sweet baby. That's right, annoy your auntie truly. Jump on her. Whoa! <laughs> Truly's kids are older. They were born March 19th, first day of spring, so they're a little more wild. But these babies everywhere. Cuteness overload. <laughs> Daddy dumped the weeds in here, and these goats are going to town. They love them. Why are you following me? I don't got no milk for you. These babies were all asleep, and this one is like running around crying. It's okay, it's not time for a bottle again. Way too soon. Baby goats will make you think that they need a bottle all the time. You're going to start bumping on my knees. Yep. The twins are totally imprinted on me. This one's a little bit less so, but still. <laughs> still thinks I'm mama. She, she knows that we're both mama, I think, though. She likes to hang out with her mom and sis. Feeding time. Look at even those babies. Truly's babies are eating green. That other little baby's not, but she's looking for her mama. That sheep's not your mama. <laughs> the hair sheep shed out like this in clumps. Betty's already done. Be nice, Betty. But Mary Jane takes longer, and Wilma's halfway done. You can see her now. See, it's just coming off in chunks. I don't have to shear hair sheep, but that's what I like about them. Yeah. <laughs> they love me. And I don't want to
That one's yours. The other one's over there. <laughs> Cute babies. So all in all, everything is working out okay. It was a scary situation and it was a problem. <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, but I'm not gonna hide those things from you either. So just know that everybody makes mistakes and especially with goats, sometimes you're gonna have fence failures. Now I've had very good luck with our fences and our goats. We have not had a breakout since we first moved in here. So for one time out of four years to have a butt get out was a rare occurrence and it was not supposed to happen. It was a mistake, but I, I have to give myself grace. There's nothing I did wrong. It was a professionally installed fence piece that he was able to wedge the edge of the fence off of. So <laughs> again, just give yourself grace and know that everybody makes mistakes and you just have to work through them the best that you can and do the best you can for your animals. Make sure those fences are tight. Make sure that you have your medical kit ready to go for any emergency and trust your gut because I knew there was something wrong with that doe and I was able to resolve it, thankfully, this time. So always, always trust your gut. And if you can find a good working vet in your area, that's excellent. They don't even really have to be a goat vet that's really excellent at being a goat vet as long as they're willing to give you the meds that are necessary for the problem that you're facing. That's sometimes the best you're going to find. And I got lucky that we finally found one of those locally because up till now I would have to haul a goat all the way to Auburn if I really needed help. And that would be in a very expensive and stressful situation. But luckily, I have a local vet that will see goats and he's nice about it and he was willing to get the meds we needed so now i just have to keep bottle feeding these babies and uh get some rest because i'm tired <laughs> and uh it's it's been a really long week but all in all it's still another great day on the homestead are you feeding the baby yeah are you feeding the baby? Oh, Good job. As if three bottle babies wasn't enough. Last night it got stormy and it rained. And Parsley did not call her baby into the shelter. The baby slept under a chair and was damp and cold this morning. So yeah, she's in warming, warming up being kept warm because it is still really chilly out here for Georgia summer like this is really chilly but um yeah she got a bottle and she's doing okay she'll be fine but she can't come back out and catch a chill again so I'm gonna keep her in while it's this cold and that means more bottle feeding 